Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is how you can add in a second button. Now this button can be anything you want it to be. So all you need to do is get the image off the internet. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my button in and show you how to get it to play another sound. Now, if you right click on resources, click on add, we want to add an existing item in. Now, this has taken me straight to the resources folder with all files. Now, if you end up in the lesson one folder or somewhere else, just find your way to the lesson one folder, go through the folders until you get to resources. If you find that you can't see any of your pictures, just make sure you change it to all files. Now, I'm going to click on button two and add and you'll notice it appears here. The only problem is it hasn't appeared on the screen where you can see your preview. Now, there's a simple way to put your picture in here. All I do is just copy the code of the original button, right click and paste and change it to button 2 because that's what it's called up here. I'm also going to change the name of it, otherwise it does give you an error. So what we have now is our first button, our second button, and the thing that controls it. But the problem is, we haven't got that for the first one. Before I add that control, I'm just going to click onto the code where my button is and then I'm going to drag it to the right. Now if like me you've had a blank box move it's because it's dragged the control. All you do is click back to number two and move it to wherever you like. Okay. I am going to move my control back over the top of my button now And there you have it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste the control because I want to be able to control my second button. Like before, I'm going to call this song 2. All you do is click in the top corner and move that control over the top of your button. So what you should have is song 1 is over the top of that button and song 2 is over the top of that button. Follow the next video to see how I add the code into it.